Hi, I'm Scott Bestel from Field and Stream, and uh, we promised you in an earlier uh, magazine issue that we'd include some video tips on rattling, and so that's what I'm here to talk about today. Um, probably one of the biggest things that people need to understand about rattling is that uh, it happens in all phases of the, of the deer season. Uh, bucks are sparring and fighting with each other from the minute they lose their velvet until the minute they uh, shed their antlers in the winter. And I've, uh, I've rattled up bucks in every month of the season and I've witnessed sparring and fighting uh, in all months. And so people who think that rattling is just a rut thing are, uh, are, not, are not correct. Uh, the rut is a great time to rattle, but you can rattle deer in during all phases of the season. Um, before I start uh, showing you a couple sequences, I just want to show you one way that I store and carry my rattling antlers. Um, I've just taken a pair of sheds. This is my, my lucky set that I found many years ago and I've used to rattle in just about all my bucks. Just a nice two-year-old whitetail. And I used a tip from a friend that I have who showed me to just drill a, a hole in the base of each antler about, oh, half an inch in. And then you just go to a hardware store and buy a set of eye screws, which look like that. And then you can, once your holes are drilled, you just screw the eye screw into the into your pre-hole drill in the antler. And then I take a bungee cord, again, uh, available at most hardware stores, and lay them in the eye screws and then just pinch the eye screw shut. Then you've got a handy uh, method for keeping your at rattling antlers together. And it's also very easy to, I just sling them around my waist, take the bungee cord and hook them together and then I can pull my antlers on either side of my hips and I can transport them through the woods uh, real easily, not make a lot of noise. You can also strap them to a backpack. Uh, so anyway, that's my one of my tips for the day. And I'll just get right back into, into talking about rattling. Um, a lot of guys will saw the brow tines off of their rattling antlers, which is a great idea. It protects you from jabbing your thumbs. Um, I'm just afraid to mess with these. They've got too much mojo and karma, so I'm not going to saw anything. But I'm just careful to keep my fingers ahead of, ahead of the brow tines there so I don't jab myself. Um, in early season, uh, which is what we're in here right now in Minnesota, early October, and uh, bucks are not quite as aggressive as they are during the rut. I typically set up on them pretty close to their bedding areas and so I rattle fairly lightly. And uh, here's what a typical sequence will be. I'll just tickle the brow tines together a little. Or the tines. Uh, on a windier day, you might want to hit it a little bit harder so the bucks can hear you. Bash the beams together. And then I'll just hang them up. I keep the sequences fairly short. Uh, I might actually do more of them, one every couple, three minutes, and then lay the horns down for a while. And uh, I'm just trying to imitate a pair of bucks that have been together most of the fall, most of the summer together. And they're just sparring, feeling their, feeling their oats, and uh, showing each other who's boss. Um, as the season progresses and we get closer to the rut, of course, the battles get a little more intense, especially when bucks that have, don't know each other encounter each other. And also, uh, deer are moving widely. They're often, often moving fast, uh, and they can't hear you as well. Leaves are on the ground. So then I get more aggressive and louder. So this is what a typical sequence might be. I use my beams a lot. And then I'll hang the antlers up for a while and uh, I'll do that about every 20 minutes and just keep it going most of the morning long or evening long. Um, and that's kind of my basic sequence that I use and the volume and hopefully it'll give you a give you an idea of uh, some rattling tips that you can use this fall. Good luck. I hope you bring some in.